Jordan, how much uh, harder or different is the scheme at this level as opposed to high school? I would say, one, the speed of the game. Uh, that's something I got to get used to. Uh, and I know Tennessee especially goes at a really fast speed, their offense. So that's one thing I need to get adjusted with. And I would say the physicality uh, of it and uh, how physical the receivers are. Um, got to get off blocks, shed blocks, and, and get to the ball as fast as you can. Were you sold on the opportunity that Tennessee presents for you to maybe play right away? Uh, well, this spring, I know we're we're uh, not putting any labels on right now uh, of who who's starting and who's not. But uh, I know the the opportunity will present itself, um, and I I gotta just capitalize and and take the opportunity and seize it. Now that you started spring practice, can you can you already see some benefits from the time you got during bowl practice? You know how how if at all has that helped you so far? Uh, I would say coming in from bowl practice, it definitely prepared me for this, and um, it showed me kind of like what I said earlier, the speed of the game, and uh, it showed me uh, you know what to look for, what to uh, what coverages um, are going to be expected of me, and uh, you know what expectations. Bowl practice was kind of a little slower than spring, but I feel like it still prepared me in a way that uh, mentally I need to be ready uh, to get out there and play. From bowl practice until now, what have you been able to learn from the older guys on the team, and have any of them really taken you under their wing? Definitely. I would say one in particular, Warren Burrell, he, uh, he took me under his wing um, from my official visit, and he kept in contact with me throughout my senior season. And he just he just told me what to expect, you know, what to uh, what to look for, and what I need to get better on uh, throughout the off season to get better to get ready for my freshman season. So I feel like Warren really uh, prepared me, and uh, he's still preparing me to this day. Jordan, some some guys come in at cornerback as freshmen and maybe played other positions or played both ways. When did you kind of start becoming a cornerback, and what what about your mentality makes you a fit for that position? I would say. My sixth grade year, I start, uh, started playing corner. Uh, I initially started as a receiver when I was eight years old, but I kind of converted into corner because I saw how, uh, how beneficial they can be to a team and uh, how much of a mentality and uh, how much athleticism you have to have for that position. And not a lot of people can play corner, and I feel like I'm one of those guys that could, that could play that position and you know, have that men dog mentality to, uh, and confidence to play it. Mm -hmm. and it's very important, and my dad sh stressed it from a young age because I used to get, I used to pout and get, get watery eyed and everything when I was younger. But uh, as I grew and got older, you, you just had to have amnesia and uh, forget, forget about that last play, even if it's good or bad. So, uh, it's very important. You mentioned the ability to play <clears throat> cornerback. What are the things you feel like you do well at cornerback, and what do you feel like? You need to work on. I would say my my uh, my physicality and my speed really helps me out. And um, I'm a bit of a technician because um, uh, I started training at a young age, so uh, my technique is pretty up to par. I would say, and things I need to work on. I, I think I need to work on a little bit of everything in my game because I I don't feel like uh, one is is important than the other. So a little bit of everything is is uh, what I need to work on. You obviously had a whole lot of options coming out of high school where you wanted to go. What was the deciding factor of why Tennessee, you chose Tennessee? I would say, uh, once again, the opportunity to come here and, and uh, start or get, or get major playing time, um, that one. And then the, the business opportunity here, I'm a business major. So uh, and my, my mom really stressed that because uh, my dad was really, really focused on sports, but my mom was focused on the business side of things. And then, um, so I, I thought about that coming here with the Haslam School of Business, and then, um, and then just the networking here with all the, all the greats that's passed through Tennessee, um, Eric Berry, you know, and uh, all the rest. Uh, I feel like uh, that played a factor, and also Co Coach Martinez, he's he's definitely a, a key factor in uh, my my uh, my recruitment, and he talked to me and and 
and uh, gave me coverages and and everything and knowledge to uh, even play play with on the high school level. So I feel like that really developed me. How do you plan on using that business major? What, what do you, how do you think that'll help you on that one? Well, I, I want to own a business when I get older. So that, that's the end goal. But um, of course, uh, school always comes first. And that's what my mom stressed. And then um, just, just having a backup plan to uh, fall back on. Jordan, you talked about the physicality of the game. Coach Banks was in here and kind of mentioned that's one of the biggest adjustments for, for guys coming in at your position. Uh, has there been a receiver that you've gone against uh, at, at back in bowl practices or even these first two days that kind of made you think, wow, OK, this is, this is what it's like at this level. This is what it's mm -hmm. like playing against an SEC wide receiver? I would say big props to uh, Brew McCoy. I know he's, <laughs> he's known for being physical out on the field, but uh, he, he definitely gave me a run for my money uh, the first couple of days of bowl practice. But um, Having guys like that to uh, get get me better, him, Ramel, um, and he, all the all other guys are, are pretty good receivers. And then a guy like Squirrel that can hit you with speed too, and, and that, that plays a big factor. So I feel like that combination of speed and physicality is what I, I need to, you know, make sure I, I get adjusted to uh, at playing at this level. How, how does those first couple reps against Peru, he's obviously you know, looks like a linebacker. Mm -hmm. how, how did those reps go for you? Did you win either of them? Or? Well, I was in position to win it, but you know, uh, he probably would say not. But like, uh, I, I just feel like him competing with me and a younger guy like me getting me better is uh, is, um, is going to contribute to the winning of this team. So uh, it, it it takes a dog to to compete with him. So I feel like that's ultimately going to create more dogs in this facility. What's the largest crowd you played before when you were in high school? Largest crowd? Mm -hmm. Nowhere near this crowd, I ain't gonna lie. But probably about 2,000. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Are you eager to play in front of a few more at Neyland Stadium? Yeah, a little more than a few, but uh, I definitely am. Um, the, uh, I, I shine a little brighter in front of all the lights. My, my dad will tell you that uh, more people is, is more excitement, more energy. Um, obviously, I, I might be a little nervous, but that nervous is going to contribute to more energy throughout the game and, and just, just being more electric out on the field. Thanks, Jordan. Yeah, thank you.